what is up guys welcome to the big unbox where we do that small tech and today i am back with another big unboxing for you for this samsung galaxy s10 and today we're going to do a review or a quick overview i should say an unboxing of the flamingo pink version now i did i've got the s10 plus and i've got the s10e and i'm not gonna lie the s10e has been my favorite galaxy s10 so far and i really just like the form factor i like the fingerprint sensor placement the S10 Plus is okay, but I'm not still not a big fan of the fingerprint in screen, you know, in, in screen fingerprint sensor. It just doesn't work all the time. But I thought this one is kind of the version that kind of gets slept on in between. This is the 6.1 inch screen versus 6.4 and then 5.8. I think eight. So this is probably the best actual size. So I almost wish that they would have done this on the S10e. But I got this crazy flamingo pink. Let's go and check it out. A lot of people have done some reviews. I haven't seen too many unboxings of the S10 Flamingo Pink version. This is the box that you're going to get. Starts at $8.99 in Amazon store. Not Amazon, but uh, Samsung still got that $5.50 trading credit that's still out there. So take advantage of that. So you got the S10 branding right there. And you can see that pink's going to be legit. The back's going to just tell you what version I got. And I did with the 128 gig. I just think that that's probably the best for most people, including myself, in terms of storage, especially with the expandable memory. So let's go and check this out, guys. Presentation looks good from Samsung. I'm kind of curious to see how this one's going to be. I've, I've been a big fan. I've been actually rocking the S10e more, more than the S10 Plus, and I just really, really like it. I mean, I'm not a you know, I'm not, I'm not hating on the S10 Plus. But the S10e for me has been actually my favorite so far. So I'm kind of curious to how this is going to be because it's kind of middle of the road. So this is what you're going to get. You got the white charging brick, fast charge right there. Adapter. Got the usual suspects right here. Let's see what we got. Power. Let's see. You got your earbuds. These are AKG earbuds. I haven't really checked these out yet for the other two versions, but I'm assuming that they're pretty nice. You always can't go wrong with the AKG. The sound's pretty nice on those. So let's go and check this out. Anything else? That's pretty much it in terms of presentation. Now I'm curious to see how this pink is gonna look. The flamingo pink. Ooh, that looks. Look at that. That is crazy looking. And really, in all the reviews that I've seen, I haven't seen too many on this particular version, but I've seen this color and really the color it probably doesn't do it just behind the camera because it just it kind of changes color so many times it's almost like that white which is not really white this is flamingo pink but it also turns color you get like an orange tint to it the sides are definitely pink so keep that in mind you're rocking the pink right there but this back is kind of like a more of a just a bright bright color that changes in the particular light that you're looking at it Got that nice satisfying plastic when you take that off. Got the Samsung logo right there. So what you're getting with this one, you got the, the three camera setup on the back with the S10e. You're only getting the two camera setup, so keep that in mind. The form factor actually feels really nice. This probably feels like the best one to hold in the hand because of the form factor. It's actually the pr probably perfect size out of the three. You can see the S10 logo right there. And again, that color just looks gorgeous. What do you guys think about that color? You guys like that color? I don't know. I mean, I was kind of curious how this is going to look. I've seen a lot of people online rocking this one, but I've heard just different things about it, how it looks in different lighting. And it's really true. The lighting kind of affects how it looks. Very nicely done. Got the one single hole punch right there, which I actually really like. That's one thing I do like about the S10e is that single hole punch look, not the dual hole punch look. Let's go and kind of compare it. We're not going to do too much more with this review. I just want to give you guys a quick unboxing of this one to compare it to the S10e and then the S10 Plus. So there's the S10 Plus version, give you guys a look at the difference. So you can see just a little bit shorter, 6.4 inch screen versus 6.1, pretty much the same, just a little bit taller for the S10 Plus, not too big a difference. You can see it's a little bit maybe wider right there as well, but overall very close. Let's check out the S10e, and this is that white that I was talking about that also changes colors. <laughs> <laughs> there we go shut up there you go look at that so that's the difference really not too big a difference between this one and this one just a little bit taller it's kind of the same thing just a little bit taller so really i mean it's gonna be hard to beat the value for this one you do have the dual camera setup with triple setup on this one but i think the form factor is pretty close 
yeah, it feels a little bit better to hold, in my opinion, like a little bit more screen real estate. So this one, you can still kind of do most of the one-handed thing. You can see the one, the hole punch right there, the single hole punch, which actually, to me, is really, really clean. Looks very nice. Down to the double hole punch, you know. It, I get used to it, but I really like the single hole punch better on the S10e and then the S10. That's it. All right, let's check this out. Ooh, size factor again, very close. And you can see the color scheme. This is the white, and this is the prism flamingo pink. Look at that. That that color is crazy. What do you guys think about that? You guys like that color or not? Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. I just wanted to give you guys a quick unboxing and an overview of this particular phone because I know a lot of people have kind of slept on the middle S10 version because everybody gets the S10 Plus, where obviously this is kind of the more budget-friendly one, if you guys want to call it that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? Hit this subscribe button. See you guys next time.